So I've basically done all of the STG 44s, epic variants, and I really want to start doing the heroic variants. And this is the first one I'm going to take a look at. Or so not the first one, but I think the second one, I believe, since I did this serum too, but I'm not so sure. And for today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the heroic variants for the SCG 44, the Haywire 2, and telling you guys if this variant is worth using or not by going down through a lot of details, like the comparison between this variant and the normal gun, iron sight comparisons, performance, and all that to give you guys the big answer so my name is Nick and without further ado let's get right into the video and tell you guys if the Haywire 2 is worth using or not in Call of Duty World War 2 <laughs> So the Haywire 2. Now it's not a special variant for the SCG-44 at all. It really is just a normal SCG-44 just without a stock or at least the stock folded under it. It's basically like the all out for the MP40. The only big difference is the gold and black on it but honestly you can really resemble this camo just by getting the nor black camo or whatever makes the guns all black. Now, I'm not going to show any comparisons between this variant and a normal SCG-44 because it literally is just a normal SCG-44 just with the stock under it. So the only way to get this variant is through the supply drop system and it is a heroic variant so it's going to be a lot harder to get than if it was an epic. But I know once you do get it the one question is, is this variant worth using? So let's break down this variant through multiplayer and zombies so I can give you guys the answer. So first off multiplayer. So in multiplayer it has a perk and it's 15% extra soldier XP. Now now, it's a little bit more than 10% and you will see a difference right there but with 10% or 15% no matter what it does help out a little bit. Now for the performance it's an okay gun, the SUG44 is a really good gun in both core and hardcore, it's pretty much okay overall. It has had its buffs and it's had its nerfs. But other than that, it's still a pretty good gun to use. Now, the attachments I use for this gun in multiplayer is rapid fire, quick draw, grip, and extended mags. Rapid fire so I can shoot a little bit faster and kill my enemies a little bit faster. Grip so I can control the recoil a little bit. Quick draw so I can ADS a little bit faster and it competes with SMGs. And then extended mags so I can have more shots in the mag. And it's because I have rapid fire as well. Now for accessibility, it's pretty easy to get the SMG44 in multiplayer. I think you can get it around level 10 or something around that. Somewhere around the early stages where it takes like nothing to do to basically rank up to. Now that's pretty much all I could talk about this variant in multiplayer now let's talk about it in zombies. So it has no zombies perk but the performance is okay in zombies. It's a really good gun up until round 15 and then once you get to round 15 you're gonna need some max ammos a lot more than usual. Now the attachments I use for the SCG44 in zombies is advanced rifling, steady aim, extended mags, and rapid fire. Now advanced rifling so I can kill the zombies zombies a way quicker if they're farther away and steady aim just in case if I decide to hit fire all the bullets actually hit the zombies then extend the mag so I can have more shots in the mag and rapid fire so I can kill the zombies a little bit faster and it helps make my gun a little bit stronger in higher rounds. Now for how easy it is to get this gun in zombies basically you can get it in the mystery box and on walls so it's pretty easy to get this gun. Now let's compare both multiplayer and zombies to see if this variant is worth using or not. So first off this variant only has a perk for multiplayer but the perk does help out a lot in leveling up in multiplayer especially if there's a double xp weekend or whatever going on now for the performance in both multiplayer and zombies it's a pretty good gun it's not the best but it's not the worst it's in between it's okay and for the look it's pretty nice looking i love the gold and black contrast but the only problem i have with it is it's literally a normal scg 44 just with the stock under that's it's not a big difference. And then for how easy it is to get the gun that the variant is based off of, it's pretty easy to get in both multiplayer and zombies. So you're going to have a breeze into getting the STG-44. Now for the big answer, is this variant worth using or not? And honestly guys, no, it's it's not worth using. And hear me out before this, because I know some of you guys probably love the Haywire 2 and how it looks, but hear me out. If this is the only heroic variant that you have or variant in general for the SCG-44, then go ahead and use it. Like, why not? But if you have other heroic variants like the Red Baron 2, the Serum 2, or the Shingles 2, use those instead. Because one, they're actually a unique design and they're pretty different from the normal SCG-44. Two, they actually look way better than the Haywire 2. The Haywire 2 is just a normal SCG-44 just with gold and black slapped onto it. And then three, they actually pop out way more than the Haywire 2 does in multiplayer and trust me, 
they do. So that's just my opinion why I think you shouldn't use the Haywire 2. But again, if that's the only variant you have or the only heroic, then go ahead and use it. Other than that, if you get another one for the SG44, use that one instead. Trust me, you'll love it way more than the Haywire 2. But guys, it's basically pretty much it for this video. And if I did help you guys out on choosing whether or not to use a Haywire 2, then drop a like. It helps me out a ton. And if you're new, to subscribe for more music content. Because I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And remember that bell and subscribe button so you don't miss an upload. And also, I'll pop a card to the Streets Place right about now, and I'll put it in the description down below. The streets Place is called the Is This Variant Warfare series. And basically, if you're wondering if a quarter master collection variant or supply drop one is worth using, then this series is for you. I go down through a lot of details like iron sight comparisons comparisons overall between two guns the performances the perk and all that to give you guys the big answer so i highly recommend checking out the playlist after the video but again guys it's basically pretty much it and i hope you guys have an amazing day and also comment down below your thoughts about the haywire too do you like how it looks do you not like how it doesn't have a zombies perk just any opinion i would love to hear even the ones basing on my opinion on this gun just anything i'd love to hear in the comments down below but I'll see you guys in my next video, and 